to another video. Now you might think, where am I filming this video today? I am actually in my porch. Now, if you've watched my other videos, I've told you that my house is under renovation. I've been filming a lot in my bedroom, but it is October. Well, I say October, I've said October half term. That's when we normally have half term, but we've had half term a little bit late this year. It basically was the end of October going into November. So it was Halloween yesterday. So I hope you've all had a lovely Halloween. Now you might be thinking, what is this video today? Now this is a video. Now, so I didn't run, and my name is Claire. <laughs> I should say this, my name is Claire. I run two series of videos on YouTube. One called The Stitch Diaries and one called The Doll Diaries. Now today, it's really hard to put it in a category because I have been to the works bookshop over a number of visits. I've got a number of things in here. Now, some of them are to do with things for my, you know, my stitch diaries, some of them to do with my doll diaries. It's a bit of everything. So, and I've got a load of things here that I've made as well that you've probably seen on previous videos. So I might be delving into there as well. <laughs> Actually, I might put that out of the way a moment. Uh, imagine that's probably better than this. This is um, bird fat balls in here. <laughs> If you're wondering the plant pot on top of it there's no pretty way of storing it but it's handy for getting it outside so i'm going to delve into here now i have been using one of the items already that i bought there and it's this hogwarts folder it's a ring binder folder and i've been basically putting doll patterns in here so um yeah so when i've like made something um, I try and keep the patterns and I put them in these little folders and yeah I've got another folder I was using that for but it was just a bit full so yeah so I've got this one now so I'll show you close I'm a bit of a Harry Potter fan and uh, yeah and it says Hogwarts on it and it's got the badge and I absolutely love it and I've been as I say I've been using it already I don't think it's going to take me long to fill that up oh and actually I didn't tell you why I'm filming in here uh why it's half term and things my youngest son is playing on his PC, he's gaming, and he's been incredibly noisy. And my middle son is gaming, but he's as quiet as a mouse. My eldest son is at his girlfriend, and my husband is at tennis. So yeah, so unless my husband comes back, yeah, I think I'm okay for a little bit. We, we can have a bit of fun for a bit. <laughs> so, now, where, sh where shall I go? Now, I love these cardboard suitcases and I, I don't think there's any prices on these unfortunately but I've got a deal I think I've got two things for £12 and the other thing is here but I will show you that in this video now have a look at this it's a cardboard suitcase and it's got bunny rabbits on it. Now, I was thinking this would be really good for like putting my lunar lapping related things in. Now, at the moment, I have got somewhere to keep that, but maybe this would be a nice clothes suitcase for my lunar lapping. Now, you might not know what lunar lapping is. I'll just try and grab one in here. first one I come to is Flora Lapan. She's a bigger rabbit actually and she's made of a felt, not felt, of a fabric, just regular fabric. Um, possibly, I think she, I might have made her in linen, I, I think from what I remember. It, it looks like linen or a linen mix. Yeah, she's lovely. I made her that last year. I made her around about this time last year. That's why she's wearing a pumpkin. I might leave her out actually. She's really lovely. She's a pattern by um, Sarah Peel, who makes Luna Lap, Lapan. <laughs> oh, here we go. He's Alfie. This is the boy version. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Uh, this is leftover fabric, this Miffy the Rabbit fabric from a top I made for myself. And um, yeah, the Craft Cotton Company designed this fabric. And uh, yeah, I've had some leftover for Alfie. So this is my boy version. He's got his little Ugg boots on. <laughs> 
is lovely. So basically, yeah, I've made lots of these animals. I'll get I'll get some of the others out in this video. You haven't seen them for a while, so I know some of you would like to see them. So I'm going to get this out actually, so I can show you inside. Oh, actually, what I'm wearing? I'm wearing my husband's jacket. I am. The sleeves rolled up. He doesn't like it because he says it, he says it's too big on him. But I love it. <laughs> I wear it in the house. So there's one in here. It's like those Russian dolls, isn't it? And get one inside the other. That's the other. Look at that handles look. I've showed you these kind of cases before, but not in this design. I think actually, oh, that one's got a different print on it. That one has got bunny rabbits, but it's also got hedgehogs, toadstools, deers, um, and foxes on it and a bit of foliage a few leaves as well but the first one it just had like a it looks like a hair doesn't it not like your typical pet bunny rabbit oh and this one isn't an animal food at all it actually looks like mistletoe that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't know what they were like inside, actually. So, yeah, I just presumed they was all the same. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, so, they're lovely. Now, I got that with something else. Like a deal. But I'll come back to that in a moment. I got some washi tape. Is that the only washi tape? Yeah, that's the only washi tape I got. And the reason I got that is because if you've seen my wooden doll video, I made a video about like a vintage wooden doll I've got and some modern wooden dolls I've got. Now, the designer sometimes decorates her dolls with washi tape. She uses it for clothing and tights and things. And maybe I'll put um, a photograph up on the screen of one of those sort of dolls, maybe with an example of washi tape on. I'm causing myself more work here. The more photographs I have to show, I have to go hunting for them, which is a bit of a nightmare. But I do like to show you what I'm talking about. Anyway, these, I've paid £6 for this, but you get an awful lot of washi tape. And I really liked the earthy tones. I, I hopefully there's going to be something suitable for one of my wooden dolls because I bought some wooden doll blanks to do up myself. So yes, that'll be exciting. And you know what? It would peel off. It wouldn't be set in stone. But yeah, I might, you know, maybe I do a bit of um, an autumn woodland theme on one of them. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? I don't know, I can't even remember buying this. It's been that long now since I bought this. And some of it, it's a bit late because I could have used them for Halloween, but never mind. I got a fairy door. It's decorate your own fairy door. And I paid £2 for it. Now, I went a little bit mad buying a few wooden items because if you watch my wooden doll video, you'll have seen I bought some wooden boxes from the works and I painted them up, I done them up and things. I'm really pleased with them. So I got all excited. I wanted to paint something else. So I ended up buying wooden things. And this was one of them. And I thought these would be lovely for my little fabric mice that I've made. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you will have seen I've treated myself to some uh, male, male leg um, mice. If, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. I'll pop a photograph of what I shared online. I shared you a, a, um, a photograph of the paper bags and uh, different sides and then what the contents were. Now I treated myself to these. Now I I fell in love with the, these sort of mice and I started, went on a mission this year making my own, as you've seen on my previous um, Stitch Diary videos. Um, yeah, I love making them, but I treated myself to like, you know, the proper official things. So I haven't put them next to my homemade ones yet. So I don't I haven't done a comparison, but yeah, I will do uh, in a future video, but yeah, but they're, they're good sizes, aren't they? You can use it at Christmas. Good, good little prop anyway for something. I love like my miniature world, as you've probably realised if you've been watching my previous videos. Now, this was something that I was planning for Halloween. It's a coffin. 
and it's got a latch on the side and I paid two pounds for that and again I thought oh I could paint this up so that's what I'll do but yes maybe for next um Halloween now yeah so unless you like you know you're a bit gothic you have that kind of thing all year round you never know <laughs> I didn't get my life-size ske uh, skeleton out this year, actually. Um, it's still in the loft. Because as I say, you know, with the home renovations, I haven't got a lot of places to decorate. I did a little bit, a few bits in here. I don't know if you've spotted. Um, I've got a Blythe doll here. This is um, a Lorio file style, it's her official name. I've not brought her onto YouTube yet, actually. This is her debut. I wasn't planning on showing her, but she's wearing a top that I, I made. I made my own Wednesday Adams doll, and I made this top for her um, to wear out of my raincoat lining. But I've put it on this doll, and she's wearing trousers that I did make for her. Actually, they've got a bit of a flowery pocket. <laughs> <laughs> on them and she's wearing authentic Blythe shoes basically Philippa from Little Matilda Atelier um, offered me some bodies because I, I wanted some doll bodies um, to try out different things and she offered me some and she sent them to me in a, an, an official Blythe box uh, it's called My Best Friend Blythe it would have been from and when I took all the like, these bodies out that she didn't want there was actually the stock for this um my best friend doll in it and the body so basically I've got an authentic Blythe called my best friend I've got the box all the stock the body but I've got no head <laughs> I thought that was quite funny <laughs> Everything but the head because Philippa is a customizer and she's obviously took the head and she likes to use her her style of bodies and then she dresses up in her clothes and it you know and it was basically her junk but it was my treasure because it had something that was very 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 dear to me in it it's actually got a little live chihuahua in it now anyone who's watched me a long time they'll know i've got two chihuahuas i've got holly and rafe and uh, yeah it's got a tiny chihuahua in it i just couldn't believe it now i was aware of this blive doll because i'd seen i'd looked up different ones i thought oh my goodness i'll never have a blive chihuahua and it was just like a dream come true so she's wearing the shoes i'm going off on one she's wearing the shoes from that box so yeah it goes quite well but i thought she looked quite gothic looking i photographed her yesterday with my knitted pumpkin and these little cauldrons i got a pack of four cauldrons from the flying tiger oh the lollipop fair from the flying tiger and yeah so uh yeah i photographed her with those and um yeah so anyway i'll crack on with this anyway. oh and yeah i was on about my decoration wasn't i i've got my now if you've watched my happy doll video um i made her another dress i've made that it's pinned at the back of the moment i've not i've not fastened it it's probably see the pin shining <laughs> yeah i need to do something with that and i've got my wednesday adams doll here now another that's an, actually that's another thing nobody has seen my wednesday adam doll adam's doll on youtube so i'll get her now i've not finished with this doll entirely i've not decorated her sleep eye cord that i gave her i've customized this doll but um, i've got her some lovely little black boots now if you've seen on social media i made her this lovely little dress on the weekend and um yeah i've pinned this as well actually <laughs> i need to uh that's what i could do when i'm finished with this video actually i'm gonna go and sort these dresses out put a little snap on them but yeah she's a she's lovely i made this in um in hillary of moshi moshi sewing bee and uh, yeah had lots of fun so we we all kind of made a similar kind of dress we use the same pattern pieces but i'd cut out the wrong sleeve so i added some pin tucks to make it a bit shorter because um 
the, the sleeve we were supposed to be using was a tad shorter and I couldn't be bothered to recut it out during the live and um, and then I thought oh well because uh, Hilary had used fabric for hers that already had like pin tucks in it and things and I really liked it so um, and it was on the I think it was on the bodice but I decided to put some little pin tucks down the bottom as well and uh, I and Hilary wanted us to use white for the collar and white for the sleeves no black for the sleeves but I accidentally cut white but it actually turned out really nice because it's a lovely contrast isn't it on the sleeve anyway this doll I bought her a, a backpack a keyring backpack that's clear and I bought a keyring it and uh, I put that in the backpack so that's cousin it is that what you call him is it so anyway I'm going to pop her back up here Oh, see, you've had two doll debuts on YouTube, which I wasn't planning at all, but these things happen, don't they? You might better see a few wooden men. I've got an army of wooden men here as well, all with their pumpkins and things. So, <laughs> anyway, I've thought ahead for Christmas as well. I've got a wooden sleigh, which I got for £2. That looks very uh, mouse sized, doesn't it? I got a load of little Christmas hats. Now, I don't know who they're going to fit. Will they fit Barbie, Ken, mice? I don't know. And obviously, I like making Christmas hats. But I thought, why, for a pound, for five, for little felt hats, that's quite handy, isn't it? Because we're going to start thinking about Christmas now, aren't we? I know I've been making for Christmas all year. Now, I've got these lovely little charms. Well, they're called charms. And they're like little um, traditional Christmas lights. They don't light up. But I thought I could string these up. These would be good for the dollhouse. Now, the dollhouse is a bit of a mess at the moment because I'm out of, I'm kind of in between two rooms. So I'm still in my craft room, but I really should be getting everything out of it. So when I got the majority of the things out of it, even though it looks like there's a lot of stuff still in there, um, <laughs> Basically, I kind of dumped a lot of dolls and things in the dyer, so it doesn't look like all nicely displayed at the moment. But yeah, maybe I can do something else out of the dollhouse leading up to Christmas. I really don't know because I don't know what kind of mess I'm going to be in. So I am going to be doing Vlogmas this year, but please, you know, bear with me. Um, you might wonder where where you are at the moment. You are sitting in the dry too soon. Do you know my, uh, it, that dryer called the dry soon that I call the dry too soon. I've got the basically the bottom shelf open and I've got the stand on there. So you're in, you're in it basically. <laughs> so that, that's rather funny isn't it? So I've had a terrible experience of the night. I couldn't get in my car at the gym. And um, yeah, no, my husband, I couldn't disturb him, he was in a tennis match and things, yeah. And I basically, I walked over a mile, um, trying different places to try and get a battery for my key on my car. In the dark, this was, at night. And um, because I was at the gym, and he was at the gym as well, but I couldn't, obviously, it was meant to be leaving, it was in different cars. And my son was at home who drives and I said, no, don't, I phoned him, but I said, no, don't bother coming over. I'll sort this out myself. But with all the places I've, I've tried, I, I ended up walking over, over a mile and uh, I checked, I got, the, I managed to get a battery. Somebody helped me um, put it in and I said, are you sure you've put that in the right way? She said, oh yes, and, and stuff, you know. I was a bit concerned because I hadn't done it myself. Well, anyway, I, um, I then ran back over a mile this was on a thursday evening so i'd already been to figure skating and i'd done tennis and then i ran over a mile sort of walked over a mile ran over a mile back and then my husband was coming out then and uh, it, it still wouldn't open my husband opened his van we got open the key the battery had been put in the wrong way and there was still like a cover over it but the car still wouldn't open so we managed to open it with a key and then the alarm was going off but then we managed to find out how you can 
uh, get it home with it's like a nifty thing you can do so we did that and we got it home and luckily we um we had a spare key and we've chatted and we're using that one now so yeah and uh, so yeah it was a bit awful actually <laughs> you know um but it was kind of i was a little bit scared being out so late on my own at night um but I kind of it was a bit exciting as well walking around at night time even though it's a bit scary and I did get soaked I was in a little pair of shorts because I'd been doing this hot sweaty tennis uh, thing and uh, and it had been raining and a bus went through the water and drenched me as well so <laughs> that's so good see. anyway right I bought a w big wooden dice for my boys, basically. They love dices and games. And I made this bag um, ages ago. I did a, I designed it myself, did some free motion embroidery. Again, if I can find a photograph of it, I'll pop it up on the screen. I have showed it on YouTube before, but I'm going to add that to the bag if I can find it with everything that's going on. Then I've got these little um, do uh, dolly pigs. Now, I don't know if I had a plan. I, I was kind of envisioning putting little faces on them, maybe knitting something for them. Little wooden babies, maybe. I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided. But yeah, I'll have a think about it. Now, the final thing is this. Actually, the bag should be one of them. I got, I think this was my, it probably was September. I was walking around my town with this. But yeah, that was the bag I bought in there to buy some of my shopping. Now, this is the other thing. It's a collapsible box and it's Peter Rabbit themed. So I'm going to get it out. That's the picture. It might shine a bit because of the light. I'll put it on the side. Sorry about that. Hopefully this isn't shiny. So basically, it's all inside the lid. It is shiny, isn't it? That's the lid. Peter Rabbit. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't he? Now, I'll try and show you what I'm doing. It's got sides like this. It's probably better to do this in the lid because it gives it a bit of stability. <laughs> sorry i have to uh oh they're underneath look like that and there's a little like press that's some bits i've got to get off here and i'll tell you what my plan is with this you need a bit of muscle i don't know if it's because i'm a bit sore from the gym <laughs> Why am I having so much trouble? Oh, there's a little, there's a mark on this. It looks a bit unsightly. Let me try and wipe it. Excuse me, licking my thumb. I won't put that back in my mouth now. Now I've touched that. I don't, it looks like food. I'm a weakling, I am. I wouldn't think I'd go to the gym, would you? Tennis was cancelled on Monday. So I went to something else at the gym that I don't normally go to. And uh, I've been in agony. I couldn't even get out of bed today. And um, when I was in the bath yesterday, I couldn't sit up to get out. I had to kind of, I'm having to kind of tip on my side to get up. But yeah, it's I've been in agony. Obviously, I'm not working hard enough at the gym usually. I don't go in the gym gym anymore. You know, like the gym where the weights are and things. I just go in like in the studio in the tent, mainly in the tennis area. I can't do it. <laughs> and the, do you know the day after the gym, I, I did that run in the car. I became ill. That's when I had that virus. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. There's literally one I cannot do up. So maybe my husband, I haven't tried these yet, so I'll we'll try these ones. I feel like getting a hammer. No, there's two that I can't do. I don't know if they're faulty or if it's just me being weak, but I'm gonna get my husband to have a go or one of my boys. 
So if, if it doesn't, if they can't do it, I might have to take this back to the works and hope they've got another one. But it's white inside and it's got little bunnies from, you know, the Peter Rabbit stories on the outsides. It's just so pretty, isn't it? And what I'm planning on doing is, is keeping my um, my Luna Lapping bunnies and things in it for now. Because I normally I have them all displayed on the shelf. But, oh, sorry. Be Mary, I'll put, put her here. <laughs> yeah, at the moment, I'm, I'm just trying to keep them all sorry <laughs> i think there's fireworks going off because we get with the first of november today so yeah we're going to be getting a lot of that so yeah they're going to go in here he looks a bit too big for it doesn't he do you think i should <laughs> sit him up like this yeah, why not? I don't think the lid is going to be going up. <laughs> right, who else have we got in here? Because at the moment, they're in this bag. This mini Mouse bag. So we've got Ziggy, the hedgehog. So I've basically I've made all of these. These are uh, Luna Lapin, Lapan and Friends. Here's Ziggy. Ziggy hasn't got any clothes at the moment, I'm afraid. I've not made them. But if you remember Hamish, my Highland cow, he was without clothes for a while. So, yeah, he's Hamish. <laughs> With his Donald Trump hair, look. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh, gosh, they look so cute in there, don't they? I love getting them out again. I really miss them. I have. Oh, here is Luna Luna. Now, Lu this Luna is the first Luna I've ever made. In a little fine jacket and dress, a Peter Pan collar. She's lovely, isn't she? I changed her eyes. She had wooden, um, in a wood kind of tone eyes, but I've changed them to... The, the plastic and uh, I think they're navy or black I can't quite remember but yeah look at the little feet let's say we'll pop her in there and who now I think my favourite has to be Apollina She's lovely. I did when um I got this green felt from Sarah. It was we were supposed to make a rabbit. It was like a summer kit thing we had. Um, I wasn't sure about having a green rabbit, but I absolutely love her. I didn't, yeah, I didn't think I would, but I really, really, really love the colour of her. In fact, I think she might be my favourite. You shouldn't have favourites, should you? But yeah, I can't help it. <laughs> so who else have we got in here? Oh, we've got um, Otterline or Otterline, however you pronounce it. She's lovely, isn't she? I think she'd look quite nice as a boy as well. With some fish and things, wouldn't she? Yeah, she's lovely. I'll, I'll need to find that fabric. I think it would be re really nice for the Blythes. But, um, yeah, I need to um, locate that fabric. So everything's in storage at the moment. And we've got Eric. Eric the polar bear. He's very dashing, isn't he? Oh, oh he's lovely. So we'll put him in here. He's getting a pride of place there, isn't he? High up. Now, have I made any other of those animals? No. That is that all of them? It doesn't look many, does it? Really? I thought I'd made more. <laughs> oh, what a lovely box of animals. 
Yeah, we look like we miss, we need to make another. We've got, some, I've got the beach donkeys I've got to make as well. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to put any other animals. Do you know if it wasn't for the bunny rabbit ears? Do you know what, if I put them flat, if I put their ears back like that, if you can see i've put their ears down and i've put eric lying down like that i can't get the lid on so they're nice and safe then there's, and there's air in it because there's like handles on the side so they're airy but yeah while you know we're in the renovation i know that they're they're nice in here now what it is i was keeping them in that mini mouse bag and yeah, I wasn't, there we go. I wasn't too keen on how many um, animals and things I've got in here. But I'll show you what else I've got in here. Well, I've got them out, now I'll put them back in. Shall I tidy up this work stuff as well? Now, if you don't know what the works is, it's called the Works Bookshop in the UK. Now, this is the first stuffed animal I ever made. And she was called a Tilda Rabbit. And uh, yeah, I was really very proud of her um, at the time. And she got this little outfit look. <laughs> but yeah, I think I have them. Um, I think my sewing is fine on this and my embroidery. But I think I could have done better with the stuffing. Um, I wasn't as experienced with toy making then. And I think the interfacing I used in the ears was a bit um a bit too stiff so i was never really sure her uh, ears i could do with stitching her ears somewhere because they kind of just hang in front of her face that is her design but i think the ears if i was making this rabbit again i think i'd pinch the ears and i'd sew them in that way maybe i don't know but um but yeah <laughs> She's quite funny, but obviously I hang on because she's the first one I ever made. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll give this to a, a grandchild or something when I'm if I'm ever lucky enough to get one in the future. Uh, now this is a, a pattern, and I bought her as kit form. Oh, that that bunny was from um, a sew magazine, and I just sourced the fabrics myself. Uh, this is um, a pattern, and I bought her as a kit form from Joe Carter, and uh, she's the ballerina. She's lovely, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, I really love her. But she's the only pattern I've made of Joe's. Uh, the only other one I've got of Joe's is Mel Mouse, which I haven't made at the moment. Uh, I'm guessing Mel Mouse will probably be a similar size to this ballerina. But yeah, she's she's very cute, isn't she? Yeah, I really liked her. Her clothes are kind of... That you can't remove them they're kind of sewed in but she has got like a neckline you can put a feet your finger in but yeah it's like it's never going to come off basically good for quite a young child because it's all embroidered and uh, and the, you, the child couldn't take the clothes off which i know is no fun for us doll people but for a very young child and you want the clothes to stay on the doll it's quite useful um these are the first fabric dolls that i made uh, this one has a story which i told you before i made it because somebody asked me to um i've never made one before I've never made a fabric doll before i'd only made that bunny and um yeah she wanted to buy it off me and she had it for a while and then was like putting it up for sale but was selling it with other items i'm sorry if you've heard this before selling it with other items and then wouldn't sell i wanted to buy her back but she wouldn't sell me to to me without the other items my friend it was one of the it was so strange my friend saw the conversation and uh she actually bought bought all the items to get my doll back for me so she was holding the sewing machine but um it did get a bit um messed up so yeah um uh, my friends and things but yeah i'm gonna redo that at some point but yeah she's my tilda so we go now i say she's tilda 
I didn't have any tilde patterns or anything when I made this. I literally looked at a picture and copied it and I made it look like a doll from a tilde. And, uh, and then I made, I made that one for myself, but I like this one more. I like the, the, I like the fullness of the dress of this one, but that's how I become a tilde fan. So that what that lady did do for me, she introduced me to tilde and then I started buying the tilde fabrics and uh, you know, the books and everything. So yeah, they're lovely. So those can go back in there now. It looks a bit more organized in here. And looking very girly actually. There's no no boys at the minute. Right, who else have we got here? Oh, we must be missing one. This is one of my um, mice. Now there is a girl version of this. Now this is an owl and a sewing cap pattern. And I had this, I think, as a kit form as well. I think I bought the fabrics in a bit. And this is the boy. <laughs> this is the largest mouse I've ever made. And the girl version. But yeah, I can't see the little girl. Maybe she's fallen out of the bag. I hope she's around somewhere. So uh, yeah, I'm going to pop him in the bag. He's lovely. He's like made with like a baby needle board. Um, now these are some monkeys I made for my youngest son because I made my youngest son a teepee and uh, these were like hanging on the teepee and round his bedroom. Oh look, <laughs> they, that's what's lovely about these, they've hooked together. So you can hang them by their tails, you can hang them by their legs you know you can do all fun things and i've met these are tilda monkeys that i made and i made them i think with yeah tilda fabric as well they're lovely aren't they I love these monkeys but yeah he had them in his room until recently but he's not in his room at the moment so yeah but he's getting a bit older now he's 16 so i, I can't see um maybe he might not want those back in his bedroom when it's all back together but you, you know i love them so i don't mind anyway <laughs> oh this is my crochet flamingo that um it's a tuft pattern and it was the first tuft bird i made but i use like a, an acrylic fabric a starcraft special now i've mentioned it before unfortunately i did this on holiday i took i took made this on the plane and during my time where was i Fort Ventura? I, mean, I think I was in Fort Ventura and um, well, maybe not. Yeah, it might have been. And uh, yeah, there was a bit of grey fleck in it and I was really disappointed. But I found out flamingos are actually grey when they're young and they only go pink as they get older because of the fish they eat and things. So I'm saying this one is like starting to reach maturity. That's what's got a bit of grey. I know I've told you this before. <laughs> and um, oh, here we go. Where's all the bits? This is my crochet doll. Um, I made this, did I make her last year? I think so. And uh, yeah, she's got slippers and things. Well, those are her socks and these are her, her removable slippers. They're cute, aren't they? And she's got a hot water bottle. See ya, a nice long plait. And she's got her copper. There we go. Drink up. <laughs> so I'll pop her in that bag. So yeah, I feel a little bit more organized now. Um, I know that Flora isn't in there at the moment, but this doesn't look quite as overflowing as it was before. And maybe if my female mouse has fallen out, then she'll go back in easy now. Oh, there's something fallen out here. Oh, it's my badger. This is a badger I knitted. And I think it was from a magazine, but it was years and years and years ago. So I'm afraid I can't tell you who the designer is of this knitted badger, but I absolutely love him. And uh, yeah, and he was in there as well. So I'm just gonna see if I can find my female mouse and then I'll wrap this video up. 
I found her and I found somebody else as well uh, while I was looking. Yeah, here she is. Actually, her dress looks like it's come apart. Now, I use ribbon on her sh shoulders that looks like a tape measure. <laughs> So here she is. She was in another bag, actually. So she hadn't fallen um, out of this bag. I was keeping her with my Care Bear, my childhood Care Bear. And uh, yeah, and she's got like a sewing theme. They're like the sewing mice. They're lovely, aren't they? So yeah, I'm going to put her in that bag because she's with a, a brother or a boyfriend or whatever. So... <laughs> And the other little thing, I, now these aren't all the things I've made, like, you know, stuff things and dolls and things, but these were the ones that were in these bags. That's why I'm showing you these. But he, this little chap had fallen off, off the shelf. And I thought, you know what, bring him in. It's Stickman. I don't know if you know who Stickman is, but yeah, I love Stickman. It's always on at Christmas these days. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I absolutely love him. I'm tempted to leave him in here as well, actually, shall I? Right, Stickman and Bee Mary are sitting there. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this video, opening the things that I've been meaning to show you for ages. And uh, yeah, and now I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video, which I suspect is going to be a Stitch Diaries. So I'll look forward to bringing that video to you. And maybe I'll leave you with a music video at the end. I'm not sure yet. It just depends if I've got anything to show you. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.